Hello everybody and welcome back to the chateau. My home, where I live and I'm staying. Most of you get that. So, loads and loads of comments about opening up that uh, door, that last door to open up the master bedroom into another bedroom and of course that dressing room and loads of people that are still saying well what about an office what about this what about that um i've got a floor plan and let me show you better both downstairs on the ground floor and then on the floor for the suite what i'm doing because then the entire first floor will be my suite upstairs guest bedrooms, downstairs my living rooms, so I don't need offices and all the rest of it elsewhere, I've got them. So maybe then I think you might all understand it a little bit better and actually you might have some great suggestions for me as I'm going. But to be honest, I'm gonna have to leave this front area because it smells like a fish and chip shop. So this is morning salon, these windows. Okay, that's the yellow room downstairs, directly above is my office of course and the door and that one that's the staircase and then you've got what have we got here that's my library that well i mean that will be there's should have been a hallway there but that's actually a little laundry room and downstairs toilets but that is the drawing room downstairs dining room Weird staircase, pink room, master bedroom. And this, of course, is all the hallway. But it's you might get a better idea from the back. So I've got important paperwork everywhere in my office. So these are a certain place I don't show you. But this is the morning salon. So my office is exactly this room upstairs. The only difference is upstairs, I don't have that and that because that's blocked off for an ensuite which isn't really there so i sort of sit down i look out of this window over here at all of the garden i look at this window out at people coming in it's a beautiful beautiful office and a beautiful place to sit so that's why i don't need an office in that little suite upstairs and my commute is still a little walk i still love this room yeah right next this is the drawing room downstairs. Directly above it, exactly the same size, is the master bedroom. And same ceiling height, same everything. So in the master bedroom upstairs, that is the doorway that I have just opened, which goes through to the pink room. That is the one I opened a few weeks ago going into the dressing room and the dressing room is directly above the library and just half the width. And then of course, the dining room. And yes, that is still there because I don't want it. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, and then, so this is that pink bedroom directly above. So you understand that the pink room is directly above the... Uh, the walkway out, so it's a beautiful view to the back garden. <gasps> Can you see the carp? Oh, they've gone down now. Yeah, there they are. See? There? Yeah. Oh, hello. Less distraction, Philip. Less distraction by fish. So, back garden, you start to possibly understand yeah, because you know what, I really don't point this place out that much to you, do I? So, ground floor, library, sorry, no, gym, which is the old original kitchen, that's those, library, drawing room, dining room, little service kitchen, which is a set of stairs. So top floor, I've got this little brown corner room, which is a bedroom stroke room of beds, storage at the moment, bathroom, you, cannot, you can only get to those from the hallway. Dressing room, bedroom, pink bedroom. All oh, those are spare up there and some more on the other side and all very complicated. So the idea is this whole top floor will become 
one suite looking out over the back garden. So in the evening, sometimes, or in the morning, you have said, oh, don't do dark colors in that suite because it will be dark and depressing. That's kind of the dark bits, right? I don't want to be waking up with bright sunshine at 6 a.m. I don't want curtains closed. I want to look out, uh, but you know, I, 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 that's what I like. I, it gets beautiful sun in the evening. The sun goes down over there. And I want to be able to look out of those at the parties from my suite when I'm getting ready or something and just go, yeah, do you know what? This is set up. This is wonderful. I like this. And that is why I'm going to go with dark. But I also, I am keeping this corner room, okay, the, the bed full of beds with its own bathroom as a spare room on that floor for anyone that can't manage the next set of stairs. And I, I might do something else with it. Yeah, I don't know, because there's another room that sort of goes onto it I could open it into, which would be really cool. It'd be a separate suite within a suite, but I don't think I need that much space. So excusing <laughs> trees and everything else that has happened in this back garden, this back garden has always been the view. Straight down, out of the house, straight down. It's not to an island, not to parking. It is straight down into water. So it has always been the view I've wanted to savour and take in and enjoy. This is why that suite is going there. So I suppose actually what I'm creating is my ultimate little bachelor's chateau pad. Got my pool table, excuse this room I am, clearing loads of stuff out to the charity. So washing stuff, getting it gone. This is good. I've obviously got my gym. I'm clearing some stuff through. And then of course the suite that I want to make upstairs. This is the corner room above the gym. Currently event storage room of beds as these haven't gone anywhere yet. Uh, so this is the, literally the corner of the building. So that's the big copper beach just outside there. And then that would be looking out to the other side. And there's a little, not a very nice bathroom in there. But this room, this is the one I said that could be spare. It could be a bedroom or what else could it be? I suppose if I wanted a media room, this would be perfect. It's very dark, which means you always be able to see a screen properly. But that's the question. So as I am clearing everything, so if it's not needed, it's going. If it is needed, it's being stored in one place. So the event stuff is getting stored in a particular place. Um, everything else will go that I don't want. What do I do with this room? And that does make sense because if it's going to be part of that suite, so I'm asking, if it's going to be part of that suite, I need to start thinking about how I incorporate it and also potential color schemes and actually whether this wall comes down because this is all quite funny that's a little weird little entrance to the fake wall this is a fake wall and there's a bathroom behind that for a hidden room on the staircase uh which i'll come to another day the hidden room on a staircase that's very fun and if it's all going to be one huge master suite, do I incorporate that? And then I need to be able to look at how we do the taking the colors all the way through, because it does make a difference. Or, or whether it's being done at all, whether it's literally just a corner room, who knows? Uh, I'm massively open to suggestions. Now, hopefully you can see everything on a floor plan so you get a better idea of how it intertwines. Halfway up the next set of stairs, a door to a bedroom. I mean, you can see it now because there's a door frame on it and there's handles. But once upon a time, that was actually hidden into the wall so you couldn't see it very well. Uh, and that actually goes down. And, there's bed and then there's a room. And then there, 
it's into a little bathroom which is against that room it is all a bit weird and then actually that's my office there is a doorway there hidden in the wall behind a now a cupboard which goes into this room this place is quite intriguing so i hope that has helped everybody there's so many so many queries regarding layout because you can't get it because i haven't given you a floor plan there's a floor plan there's a little bit more explanation on where everything is and i hope now that that makes a little bit more sense about what i'm trying to do and i appreciate lots of you will say why are you explaining well because you are following me so i want those that are following and are interested, I want you to have all the relevant information so you enjoy following it as much as possible. Uh, and some of you have some fantastic ideas. Uh, and what, if you are not brave enough in life to listen to other people, or so I'll rephrase that, if you're so arrogant that you believe your way is always right and you do not listen to other people, and their suggestions, then, well, you're not gonna go very far in life because it's gonna be one way or nothing. It's not always the right way. So, hope you understand where everything is. Hope you've got a better idea of the layout and why I'm suggesting doing things in a certain way. Um, ultimate bachelor pad. Uh, yeah, we could, we could call it that. I don't know what we're gonna call it. Uh, again, well, maybe you can suggest that in the comments. Um, thank you so much for watching. Always love you to hear from you and I'll see you next time.